Hey everyone, it's Crystal with Pure Photoshop Actions and today I'm going to do a couple of videos um, showing our new action set just a pinch and just how to use a couple of the actions in there um, and so let's get started. Okay, so with this image we have a little newborn um, her name's Emmy. Emmy. I have a cold too so I'm so sorry. Um, and she's like super cute. I love this picture. Um, the only thing for me personally and again this is just you know, photography is so subjective to personal taste, um, is that she's just a tad red for me in the face here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run our action, A Pinch of Newborn Goodness. Um, and you can use this with any person. Um, we just find that uh, most of the time newborns tend to be a little red. Um, so we'll go ahead and push play. Um, I am using the platform CS4. And so, um, again, like everybody's platform is different, but um, it should be fairly similar in regards to where your action palette and everything is. Okay, so what this did is here's the before and here's the after. It's a little washed out for me, so I'll come and I'll lower the opacity. And personally, I really liked the background, just the way it was before. Um, so I'll come and use this white mask get a brush and make sure since that mask is white it need your your brush needs to be set to black um, right here um, this is your background color and this is your foreground color um, whatever color your foreground is is what is going to paint onto your picture and so you need to make sure that it is the opposite um, black conceals white reveals so um, right now with this white mask everything that this action did is visible on this picture and so when I take a black I'm going to conceal what that action did um, so I'm going to come up here and put my opacity for my brush at 100% um, and then I'm gonna just gonna brush on over the background um, and literally like you don't have to be like super careful just don't you, know, you just don't want to hit her skin at all if possible um, if you make a boo-boo and you mix up I just said boo-boo, you can tell I have four kids. <laughs> if you make a mistake, um, you can easily change the brush to white and then just brush it back on because it's just going to erase the concealing that you just did. So it'll take two seconds to do that if you get a little brush happy. Um, and then just pay attention to where the black mask is. My computer is running so anciently, so anciently slow today, I cannot figure out why. Um, Okay, so here we have um, just kind of what it did. So now you can look at her, and you see the action is basically. Oh, let's just kind of brush it off right off of the dresser drawer. And what you have is, if you pay attention to her face, I can make this stronger so you can see the effect better. Um, it's affecting just her face because there was the before, and there's the after. Looks like I missed a little area right there. You see. So again, I'll just kind of brush that off. And when you use a brush, you want to make sure you use a soft brush, which means you want to make sure that the hardness is set to zero. So if you're inside your picture, if you right click, it'll bring up your brush palette. And you just want to make sure that that hardness is at zero. Um, you could automatically select a brush that's got like a, kind of like a fuzzy edge versus the one with the hard edge right here. Um, and the reason why is if you use a brush with a hard edge, let me change it so you can see. Um, it's going to be a very, so hardness 100%, it's going to be a very distinct line. So since I've brushed off this action, I need to to brush it back on so you can see the line. I need to change my brush to white. So if I go like that, you can see that line. Like that is so visibly and so visibly ugly. Like it, it's just not realistic. So let's come back and let's get rid of that. <laughs> um, and I need to remember to change my brush. Okay, so again, I'm going to put the hardness down to, oh, we don't like that number. <laughs> put the hardness down to zero. So so now we can see that the redness is just kind of being taken out of her face. Um, and again, so then you can either shift control E or right click and hit flatten image to flatten those layers. Um, once you learn the keyboard shortcuts, it's much faster to just go shift control E for me at least because um, then I don't have to worry about dragging my mouse over here, right-clicking, flatten, um, whatever. 
Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of um, light. Now it's not, like the picture is not that bad, and this is going to be really strong at first, so I'm going to end up pulling it back. Um, so let's put it down to 50% and see what it looks like. And I really like that. It's kind of brought up her face um, and brought up the, the surrounding areas also. Okay, so I like where that where it's at, so I'm going to shift control E and merge those layers. Now, again, personal preference is these boards, and w this isn't in an action, so I'm just going to show you this. Um, these boards, personally for me, um, I would like them wider because when I photographed them, they were kind of like an off-white. Um, so I guess they kind of had a yellow tint to it, but I want them to be wider. So you can just come over here. You can do it a couple ways. Come over to here, Q saturation, come down to the yellow tab, and if you make it super bright, like super saturated, um, like that's not what I want there, because then that looks fake. Um, so if I come to right around like here, I like the whiteness, but then you'll notice that it kind of affected, you know, her a little bit. So any adjustment brush that you do, uh, adjustment, adjustment, okay. Any adjustment that you do, it will automatically include a mask, and it'll automatically include a white mask, um, because again, like you want to see what that ad adjustment is doing. So, so again, just choose a black brush, uh, make sure the hardness is set to zero, and then I'm just gonna brush it back over her because I don't want to desaturate her at all. Like I don't want her to be touched with that um, adjustment. And if I want, I can choose to bring in like the yellow back into the um, dresser drawer. Um, and now what you have is you have just a wider, um, like the the boards are more uh, representative. They represent more of what the boards actually looked like when we laid them down and photographed her. Um, and that just took two seconds. Um, so, and really like. I'll shift control E and I would pretty much leave this picture where it is. Um, I may come in and you know run soft and sparkly on her um, and just kind of like uh, soften out her face a little bit. Not that she really needs it but um, so let's zoom in for a second. Okay so let's go soft skin and again, I'm going to choose, since this is black, it's concealing what the action did, so I need to choose a white brush. And I'm going to do it at 100%, but then I'm going to change the opacity of the layer over here. Um, when you do this, make sure you don't do it over any creases, because then it's just going to look fake. So I never go over this, I'll never go over that, or these little lines here, or even underneath the eyes, um, just because you don't want it to look plasticky and fake. Um, then I'll come up to the gentle eye pop and I'll just run it right over her eyes right there. Um, and maybe I'll lower this a little bit and I'll go over her little like mouth and little nostrils. Um, and so that's before and that's after. You have to pay attention because it's a subtle change and that's after. Okay, so shift control E to merge those layers. Now what I'll do is I'll run my personal favorite action, which is in our set two, um, which is cloud nine. Okay, and I'm gonna play it. Now the image to me is perfectly warm enough, so I already know from the get-go that I'm going to delete the warm layer in this action. Um, and we'll play with this one in a second. So again, the cuddly soft layer is masked black, so you don't see what it's doing. Um, so white brush, and if you use your bracket keys again, like next to the letter P, they'll make your brush smaller and bigger. Um, the one, the bracket closest to the letter P makes your brush smaller, and the bracket away from the letter P makes it bigger. Um, I'm gonna go up to 100%, only because if it's too strong, then I'll come over here and lower the opacity. So I'll just start brushing on to the background. And again, this isn't like a, this action isn't meant to be super. Um, obvious. It's more like a subtle change. Um, and it just kind of softens that background for you. Um, 
just just a tad. Um, okay, so now and pay attention over here where you um, where you ran that action because the white is where you brushed it on. And again, since I like that at 100% actually now that I'm looking at it, but I want to brush it on down here a little bit, but at 100% it would be way too strong. So I will come up here and I'll adjust the opacity of my brush um, and just kind of brush it on right there. Um, and then I'll change the opacity a little bit more and just come and brush it on the box. So everything's kind of just soft. Like I just like soft pictures. So, um, you know, so that's just, I mean, it is a definitely a personal taste. So let's play with this optional soft layer and see what it looks like. Um, so it adds a haze. And so, again, it is 100% a personal preference. You can make it stronger if you like your hate pictures really hazy. Or if you just kind of want just a tad. Um, and I kind of actually like what it's doing to the background and the drawer. But I want to leave her intact. Um, so I'll I'll just brush on a brush, and I'll put it probably to like 62%. And again, this is showing the entire action part right here. So I need to brush it off of her face with a black mask, and I'm just gonna do it at like 62%. Just kind of brush her face back in. Um, and so now you have just a nice soft. If you pay attention to the background, it just kind of softened everything and it brings just her face to the center of attention. Okay, um, so then I'll come up to action set. No, wait. Just a pinch. And we will do a pun a, it's supposed to say a pinch of fade. Like for, I changed it, but I haven't changed it in mine. Um, for some reason I don't have the correct one loaded, so it's a pinch of fade for you guys. Um, and that's going to be really strong. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to lower it to probably about 20%. That's before and that's after. And I think I like that. So shift control E to merge. I'll come over here and I'll take a snapshot with this little camera. You just go to your history palette and you come over here and you click snapshot and it'll take a snapshot. And I do this in Photoshop. Elements does not have this option. I do it in Photoshop because so many times have I ran actions or I do things to pictures and I'm like, okay, I'm to a point where I'm really happy. And then I do some stuff to the picture and I'm like, oh, I don't really like where the picture has gone or maybe it's over processed or whatever the, the problem is. Um, and I try to um, control alt Z myself backwards and I try to back step, but Photoshop will only let you back step so many steps. And then you're like, okay, well, I'm just like SOL now because I've, I was at a really good place and then I just like I did too much to the picture and now you have to start over. So if you just constantly are taking snapshots, um, then you can always, if you get to that point, you can always come back. And then you can also use it to evaluate your work. Like you can say, okay, here was the before and here's my after. And I really like those, I really like the before and after. So, and this for us, like creating actions, like this is what we do all the time too. So um, this was after, this is the original. Um, and I created this snapshot because all I did was cropped it and rotated it. Um, and then this is our edit. And again, like it is personal taste, but I really like how bright and light that image is and how, how airy it is. Um, so I would leave that image at that. Um, and again, all that was created with just a pinch and an action from set two, Cloud9, which I use on, I cannot think of an image that I do not use that action on. Um, because I just like soft images. So, um, and that's that. So, and then this was the original image, just so you could see. Um, all I did was I just cropped it and rotated it to that, and then that was our edit. Um, I just wanted to save the time in the video without having to do that. So, all right, and that's that.